Everybody having a good day so far? All right. So I think you guys know me, but if you don't, I'll reintroduce myself. I'm Carlos Chasura, President and CEO of the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. It's great to be here with all of you. So for the last 13 years, this is our 14th year, the Brooklyn Chamber runs something called the Building Brooklyn Awards, which is an independent jury. And I actually know that because one of my picks did not win, but it's okay. Uh, an independent jury of Brooklynites um, that looks at a bunch of projects and determines which are the best, most interesting, most innovative, most architecturally uh, fun and valuable projects that have hit Brooklyn in the last year. So the requirements are simple. Uh, you have to be a Brooklyn project. You have to have a CFO, or at least a CFO, a temporary CFO at a minimum. Um, and you have to meet a bunch of criteria. So this year, uh, our judges decided on 13 awards in a variety of categories from over 45 applications, which is very exciting. Uh, it's our 14th year. Uh, the judging this year was very difficult because we actually had probably about 20, 22 projects that really could have been winners. So if they don't win this year, they can always come back. But they can't come back forever. You can only come back once. Um, obviously, one of the things we continue to learn from these projects is that Brooklyn is clearly the place people are building. It's the place they're renovating. It's the place people want to live. They want to work. They want to party. They want to have fun. Um, and I think that's exciting. So... Uh, too bad we don't have a drum roll because that would have been fun. But usually all we do is a press release announcing this. But Ofra is chairing our uh, real estate executive committee this year, our real estate committee. Um, and we decided to make the announcement as part of this wonderful summit. And I should add that uh, we are honoring um, individuals as well as projects. So you're going to be the first to know about the projects. But we are honoring two people. Uh, or three people, but two of them are together, who have made a difference in Brooklyn. One of our honorees is Lorraine Grillo. She is the president and C. Someone knows her, so that's good. She's not here, but you'll come on July 23rd, buy a table, and she'll be very happy to see you there. Uh, so we couldn't have planned that better. See, anyone that knows Bay Ridge restaurants, I should always know you know what you're talking about. Um, so Lorraine Grillo is the president and CEO of the New York City School Construction Authority. Uh, she served for about 15 years before that as the director of real estate for New York City School Construction. So she's a great person, really sharp lady, and uh, there's so many school constructions projects happening in Brooklyn that we thought that would be great. Our other honoree is the Pinchuk family, uh, Michael and Matthew. Michael, why don't you stand up, take a bow since you're here. Michael. Um, now, how many of you know the Pinchek family? Raise your hand. Good. A bunch of you do. So the Pinchek family uh, owns a paint store on Flappish Avenue. That's all I should say about you, right? They are, they are revolutionizing uh, what Flappish Avenue will look like in the next five to ten years. Um, a lot of incredible announcements of some great food establishments coming. I'm not allowed to talk about it. Uh, you'll hear one in a little while. Um, some really great things happening, but they, they've stayed true to Brooklyn. They continue to do stuff in Brooklyn. So we're excited to honor the Pinchek family. So with that, our winners of the 2014 BBAs are, let's get started. So for arts and culture, uh, how could you not award theater for a new audience in Fort Greene, uh, a joint project by the City of New York and New York City EDC. It is the first perm permanent home for Shakespearean theater company in New York. Um, I worked for Marty Markowitz when they started building, the, working on this, and I'll never forget the architects and everyone coming in and saying to Marty, we're building a Shakespeare home in Brooklyn, and he's like, I really don't even know Shakespeare. I don't know what that means, but I do know what, what it means for Brooklyn is that Shakespearean company could be anywhere in America and they're spending $60 million right here in Fort Greene. So this was 
Seriously, a game changer for the borough. We're very excited. Okay, for civic and institutional, Weeksville Heritage Center in Crown Heights. Who has never been to this place? Raise your hand. Don't be shy. You have to go see it. It is a piece of New York's history right in Brooklyn. Um, it's a restoration and addition of a, of a really special museum depicting the history of the African Americans in the Weeksville section of Brooklyn, but really more about what the African American contributions to the whole borough have been. So a really exciting project, and we're thrilled about it. Okay. For economic development, uh, we talked a lot about Sunset Park earlier. Uh, the Liberty View Industrial Plaza in Sunset Park is developed by Salmar Properties. The project is a repurposed 1.3 million square feet of vacant multi-story warehouse into a state-of-the-art industrial center that is bringing high-quality manufacturing jobs back to Brooklyn. So very, very exciting project. Education. Pave Academy Charter School in Red Hook. So this is designed and developed by Pave Academy. It's a new school that will be K to eight. It provides design, color, and opportunity. Uh, as you can tell, uh, the picture's a little weak, but the colors are really interesting. It took a very neglected corner of Red Hook and really transformed it. So very, very exciting. Historic preservation. This is just something that I think Brooklyn has been waiting for a very, very long time. Uh, if you know Peter Luger's, this is right across the street from Peter Luger's. Uh, it's the historic preservation and restoration of the Williamsburg Savings Bank. It is a three-year historic preservation project that transformed a very vacant um, and derelict property, although it was historically significant, a 140-year-old bank into a vibrant cultural event and exhibition venue using 100% of the existing structure and all salvageable surviving features. Um, the pictures do not do justice to it. It is really a fascinating place. Uh, we are actually hosting the Building Brooklyn Awards event on July 23rd right here at this venue because we felt it won an award um, these awards have always gone to new exciting places and it's an opportunity for the Brooklyn real estate community to visit a spot that just opened. So July 23rd, Lori, why don't you raise your hand? Let me give a pitch. If you want to buy, if you want to get sponsorships or tickets today, you could sign up with Lori, but you'll get invites. Um, industrial category. Sunset Park Material Recovery Facility in Sunset Park, um, City of New York and Sims Municipal Recycling. It's, think about it, the largest facility of its kind in the entire United States, located on 11-acre industrial waterfront park site. 125,000 square, 125, square foot is one of the major pieces of Plan NYC 2030, um, and this is a centerpiece of that project. Um, it really is part of the city's comprehensive waterfront plan, uh, and I think it has provided a great number of jobs and a great improvement also to that part of Sunset Park. Landscape and open space. Who who could tell me what that is? Because I did, not you, Lori. Yes. No. Bathrooms, restrooms. So I think many people have walked by this and like, you think it's a lifeguard station and think nothing of it. Uh, the jury was, I think, captivated by this project. Um, it's a joint venture. There's so many jokes that can be right there, but we will not say them. Uh, it's the New York City Parks Department and the New York City Department of Design and Construction. It's the new Coney Island Comfort Stations, an ingenious and contextually well-designed solution to the devastation brought by Hurricane Sandy on Coney Island's recreational waterfront. Um, the fun thing is that of all the projects, people will use this more than any other project. So <laughs> that's a good thing. But it's, it's just fascinating. And you know, Coney Island was the world's first roller coaster, the world's first real amusement park. So of course, they're going to be transformative, even in comfort stations. OK, energy efficiency. 
National Grid Award for Energy Efficiency. So each year, National Grid picks a project uh, that's really for its energy efficiency value. And um, Whole Foods Market, of course, is the winner this year. Uh, located in Gowanus, um, Whole Foods is on 3rd and 3rd, has a rooftop farm, solar panels, wi and wind turbines. It represents energy efficiency and a glimpse at Gowanus's clean and healthy future. And by the way, I think it's already become their number one Whole Foods in North America. The thing has just taken off beyond belief. So uh, it's always crowded, but they did a great job with it. Office, I'm sorry, Neighborhood Commercial. Is that what we're up to? Yeah. So Upreal Gaston LLC in Bed-Stuy, developed, developed by Upreal Gaston. This property at 308 Malcolm X Boulevard houses the offices of Brooklyn Capital, a real estate company. Its glass facade will provide light and openness as it serves neighborhood resident, residents um, in a place that is really lightly developed uh, an urban thoroughfare that doesn't have a lot going on there. So this, the jury thought, was a great improvement there. Office. So Kickstarter in Greenpoint, developed by Kickstarter. It's a 29,000 square foot uh, in one of Greenpoint's landmark pencil fact in Greenpoint's landmark pencil factory, houses 120 Kickstarter employees includes, among other things, a green roof, theater, indoor bike parking, and a library. The steel trusses from the former roof frames, a central courtyard, I think you can see it there, that brings natural daylight into all levels of the interior. So that's an exciting project. Residential affordable, uh, Camba Gardens in Wingate, uh, developed by Camba Housing Ventures, Inc. It's a 209-unit LEED Platinum Certified Affordable and supportive housing development located on the Kings County Hospital campus. It's a nationally recognized model for partnership between a public hospital, a nonprofit developer, a service provider, and community stakeholders that facilitates the stability and health of all residents. Um, Canva really does great work, so we're excited about this project. Residential multifamily. Uh, is it GARE? Gare number two Dumbo, is that what it's called? Okay, Gare number two, it's in Dumbo. Developed by Two Trees Management, this is a masterful multifamily historic restoration with a well-integrated addition, as you can see. Um, the repurposing of this industrial building in a historic way that had minimal impact on the street view and appeared in context and views from the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges. So that's really exciting. So those are our winners. Let's give them all a big round of applause. One of, one of the things we are most proud of is the geography of this year's winners. They are from all parts of Brooklyn, not just clustered in one area, and we think that's very important. So we hope to see you July 23rd, 6 p.m. at the Williamsburg Savings Bank. It's gonna be an incredible evening. Uh, we look forward to toasting with you, and then I think it's a great opportunity to visit a great new venue.